America was just 13 states and only owned the eastern coast of North America. However, one purchase from France and a great expedition west would change that. Meriwether Lewis, known for his leadership in the Lewis and Clark expedition, deserves to be in the A-Push Hall of Fame. He was born in August of 1774 to William Lewis and Lucy Meriwether. Five years after his birth, his father passed away while fighting in the Continental Army. Lewis grew up during the American Revolution and the early Republic, so it comes as no surprise when as a young man he joined the Virginia Militia. He is a part of the militia helping to stop the Whiskey Rebellion, and later will leave to join the army the following year. In the army, he moved up quickly and Jefferson was elected. He was appointed Jefferson's personal secretary and aide-de-camp. The most important chapter of Lewis's life would begin with Jefferson's purchase of the Louisiana Territory in 1803. Jefferson would appoint Lewis to lead the Corpse of Discovery to travel across and explore the Louisiana Territory. It would be a total round trip of three years, down the Ohio River, up the Mississippi, along the Continental Divide till they reached the Pacific Ocean in Oregon. Lewis would use his skills in botany, zoology, meteorology, and geography to lead this expedition. One of the most important aspects of the expedition was the communications and dealing with Native Americans. They established some peace negotiations with many leaders, traded goods needed to survive on the trip, invitations to Washington, and found themselves a guide for the second portion of the journey. Her name was Sacagawea. She was a Native American woman who helped guide and lead the course of discovery the rest of the way to the Pacific. Her skills combined with Lewis's, without accounting for the rugged landscape and weather, made the rest of the journey smoother and efficient to travel. After they landed along the Oregon coast and founded Fort Clatsop, from there they would establish a trade network and Lewis would return a couple months after the founding. His return in 1806 was triumphant, roughly three years after setting out on the trail to explore the western unknown. After return, he was given the position of governor of the Upper Territory, but it would not last long because he would pass away in the winter of 1809. Now that you are reminded of his life, or have just learned about it, we can move on to his importance in American history. Now his life, although relatively short, was certainly impactful to the expansion of America. The idea of manifest destiny had not fully developed into the minds of Americans, but Meriwether Lewis had certainly begun it. His exploration of the new territory provided the U.S. with new resources, access to the resources, and new connections to natives. His work in the unknown land west of the Mississippi has proven to be impactful to the physical expansion of the American empire, but also the cultural expansion. New groups of tribes of Native Americans were encountered and shown American values. However, they were all not always peaceful. Lewis and the corpse faced challenges with the Sioux and Odawan, they also had a duty to be the bearer of the news to natives that the U.S. now owned and controlled their land. One documentary depiction by a biography shows how these relations with natives' tribes have gone. He died of appendicitis. The great chief of the 17 great nations of America, impelled by his parental regard for his newly adopted children on the troubled waters, has sent us out to clear the road, remove every obstruction, and to make it the road to peace. Lewis to the Oto and Missouri Indians, August 3rd, 1804. The Oto and Missouri Indians, as well as the Sioux and other Plains tribes, were anything but children. They were sophisticated traders who had negotiated with Europeans for many years. Part of Lewis and Clark's duties in meeting with the Native Americans was to inform them that their lands now belonged to the great white father living in the East. Due to the time of his life, Many accounts of his journey are not shown by direct pictures or films. So seeing depictions and various quotes from Lewis's journals helps us to understand what his experiences were like. This one by biography shows us dealings with the Ottawa tribe an actual quote from Lewis's journal explaining some of the motives of the journey. Besides his important work with native tribes, overall Lewis's leadership in the discovery of newly acquired territory the discovery of tons of new plants, such as the white milkwort, which Lewis discovered in 1806 near Williams County, North Dakota, and it was used to treat snake bites. 
new animals such as the Great Plains bison, which was a very important resource to the natives, and eventually a resource used by settlers many years later. These brand new resources, new modes of travel, and everything the new territory has to offer all prove to be important to the future of the United States. His extensive work in a couple years along the great journey west has had a great impact on the early 19th century America, especially in the expansion of the country. Thank you.